Pseudorandom number generator, or RNG, is an algorithm which, with an input of a seed, outputs a sequence of random looking numbers. There are a lot of such algorithms. One of the simplest ones is middle square method. Algorithm first looks at the squared seed, and then takes only the middle digits from it. This number will be current output of the algorithm, as well as the seed for the next one. Also, leading zeros are used in case a number is shorter. However, this algorithm has a severe drawback. After first zeroing the sequence, all sequence from this moment will be constant zero. But there are similar algorithms with no such issues, like middle square whale sequence. For this algorithm, we need to store some data w, x, and the seed. Also, this algorithm won't work with just every seed. In a nutshell, last bit must be one as well as at least one in the first half. I will explain it in detail a bit later, but for now let's look at the algorithm. Initially, x and w are equal to zero. In each iteration, we first add c to w, then square the value of x, then add w to x, and finally swap first half of the digits in x with the second. This new x will be output of the algorithm, and values of w and x are saved for the next iteration. Now, for better understanding, let's look at the example. Imagine that we have these values of w, x, and seed, then w plus seed will be equal to 2277, and x squared will be 7364, Next on the list is x plus w with a value 6041. And finally, after a swap, we will have 4160 as the next output. I should also mention that here we are looking at modular additions. So in this example, 6000 plus 9000 will be equal to 5000. Distribution of this algorithm is really good, which is confirmed by such statistical tests as Big Crush and Proctrend. Now let's look at the requirements for the seed more closely. First of all, computer works with binary numbers, so bits are basically digits in binary. First requirement is last bit being 1. The reason behind this is because otherwise every number in sequence of w will be even, Second requirement is that at least one bit of the first half is one, because otherwise two halves would be a lot more independent for a while, as well as several other issues. For me, easiest way to fit these requirements is just to set first and last bit with one, and use everything else for actual seed. I will also leave a link to implementation of this algorithm in the description. And thanks for watching.